What's poppin' everybody? It is Saturday. It's the day of the pop-off. Between Sergeant Funko and Eric. Or Hockey Hunter, as I should say. Um, the press conference and the press conference uh, pre-show went great last night. So thank you again for everybody that uh, came out and was a part of that. So uh, it was definitely great. But man... If you don't tune in tonight to watch that, boy, you're going to be missing out. Shots were fired last night. I don't know if, uh, I don't know from my honest opinion, if Hockey Hunter can come back from that. That was, uh, that was more brutal than anything that was thrown at me. But when you call out the champ, you gotta be prepared for what comes next. The man, is, the man is a cerebral assassin. <clears throat> so, I heard my name was called out a few times. So, you know, and I know a lot of people, I was, I was in the chat, I was checking out the chat, and a lot of people were like, oh, you know, how come Seth didn't get the rematch first? You, you know what? It's okay. It's okay. My time will come and I will take back what's rightfully mine I heard that Sarge basically destroyed me to the point now where I'm doing commentary I don't know how I feel about that I don't know how I feel about that so um, yeah we'll see but uh, hopefully everybody tunes in tonight 5pm MCE and it'll also be on uh, Sarge's channel too so uh, check that out. Oh, look at that. He, out of nowhere, it's the betrayer of dads. So I am headed down to the Pines area right now. Gonna go meet up with uh, probably Sarge and probably go meet up with uh, Joe. Do a little hunting before the pop-off and uh, see if we can't get ourselves into some trouble in the meantime. So I will see you guys when I get back down there. All right, so while we're waiting for everybody so we can meet up, I decided to come to this Barnes & Nobles that me and Sarge been to one time. So we're going to go inside right now and see what they got. Betrayer. All right. So let's see what we got. We got Fortnite Rex. Stranger Things. Looks like they got the, uh, the new South Park line. I haven't seen Randy yet. Got I got this last week, thanks to my man Vince, just a geek from the 305. This is cool. It's metallic almost. That's pretty cool. I got young Nick Fury. I was looking for Patrick Swayze. Ah, that's awesome. They need to make they need to make one for Roadhouse. I love Roadhouse. Roadhouse is my favorite Patrick Swayze movie.
you know, after watching uh, Toy Hunter's video the other day, it's like now I'm almost forced to go through everything because he found that uh, that shape of water chase that I was look that I wanted. So now it's now he's forced me to be like wherever I go now to look through everything. So thanks, Jeff. Appreciate that. Making more work than what I usually do. Look at that. One, two, three chases. Holy freaking crap, are you kidding me right now? Oh, this is nuts. This has never happened to me before, ever. Holy crap, this is crazy right now. We found a Tron chase and we found two hopper chases. Betrayer of dads, you might just be my lucky charm. You just might be my lucky charm. Oh, come here, you. Come here, you. You're so cute. All right, so now that I got a little overexcited for those chases, which is crazy because that's never happened before, we're going to keep looking through what else they got. Let's see. It's so hard to look through all this stuff when it's all piled up. Oh, we're not gonna we're not gonna have boxes fall on us. Nothing there. Got another shelf over here. Oh. We we're trying to not let one fall. And we didn't we didn't let it fall. We succeeded. Just some Dorbs, Gizmo and Stripe. And then we got some Pez dispensers. And that's, I think, about it. But they got, they got a pop stack, so I'll probably grab that too. So here, be useful, Junior. That's why I'm glad I brought you along. So I'm going to go get these three chases right now. And uh, yeah, let's get out of here. Oh my God, what just happened in Barnes & Nobles? The unthinkable just happened. Three freaking chases. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Unbelievable. That's never, ever happened to me. Where I just find three chases like that stacked up one on top of the other. I mean, it's just unheard of. It is just flat out unheard of. Pop gods! Three chases! Three chases! What the hell? I mean, the past couple of weeks have just been filled with grails and chases and like, oh my god, my luck has been unbelievable lately. What a start to the year! 
This is going to be the year of the Seth. 2019. So we got two hopper chases. So one obviously to go into my collection and another one to probably use for uh, trade for something else. And then we found the uh, glow in the dark Tron chase. So that is awesome. Holy crap. Three chases. What do you, do you have anything to add? No. No? You're not excited about this whatsoever? I, I am. I just don't want to add anything. <laughs> okay, guys. Betrayer of dads. He's giving me good luck today. Thank you, Betrayer. Thank you for your service. All right, so we're walking in a GameStop right now. Let's go inside and see what we can find. The pop bowl right now. Let's look around and see what we got. So we got the Five Nights at Freddy's. Got Zamzu. Got Wiz. Goose the Cat. Oh, they got the Scrubs Pops. That's cool. We got JD Elliot. More Captain Marvel. We got Nacho. I always used to love this show when they used to be like Eagle. That was fun. See what else? I got the uh, Yamcha, got Banana Arnold. Now, they don't have the Jim Lee flash that I'm looking for, which kind of stinks because I want that one like bad. But they got super pushing corn. Oh, holy crap. Never mind. I spoke too soon. There it is. Oh my god, my luck today is just like over ridiculous. So I am definitely going to get this. Because I need that to go with my Jim Lee set. So. I think. I think I'm good. For right now. Mm. Yeah. Alright. So I'm going to go get that Jim Lee. Flash. And yeah. I think we're good. Man, I'm just having all kinds of freaking luck today. So we found this badass Jim Lee Flash, which is awesome. So now it'll go along with the the Joker, the Aquaman, and the Batman that I have. So I can't wait for them to keep putting these these out, man. These little deluxe display things are freaking awesome. Oh, it's so cool, so cool. And then I remember watching my good buddy toy hunters video this week and he was like you know i'm still looking for the for the marvel legend psylocke and i'm like you know and you know he was saying how he's still looking for it and he can't find it so i'm like all right so while i was in gamestop being the good person that i am what bam we found him the psylocke psylocke so probably see him at some point and uh hook him up with this that's what that's what that's what good people do for each other they help each other out so anytime i can help out one of my fellow collectors it fills my heart so i don't know about you guys but it's almost five o'clock i got somewhere to be basically i got to be in front of my tv or my computer getting ready to watch this pop off so because i'm really interested to see who's going to win this so i will see you guys later after the pop off because i probably will be picking up my hunting all right, so now that I just kicked Sarge's ass and I left uh, left Joe's house in a hurry to get out of there, so I am actually going down the street now to Corker Comics. Uh, I'm gonna see what they got, and then uh, 
I think I'm going to do a victory lap and loop back around and go to uh, Tease Toys and Games. And uh, we'll go from there. So we're still waiting for Sergeant to come to. When I left, he was still passed out on the table. And uh, yeah, so I hope he's ready for the rematch. I got tired of sitting by. I got tired of him poking his jabs. I got tired of him using my son. No more. No more. It's time I take back what's mine. So I'm going to sit by right now. I'm going to go finish my hunting. And then I'm going to go home and watch it over and over and over again. Because I want to inflict as much pain on him as possible so he knows why I'm coming back and why I'm coming after that belt. Because it needs to come back to me at MCE. All right, so after giving Sarge a quick beat down, running in and running out and leaving him on the table unconscious. I'm over here now to celebrate my moral victory at Corka's right now. Gonna go inside and see what they got. All right, so we're here right now at the Wall of Pops. Got some pretty interesting stuff. Got the Joker. Still want him in that two pack, that glow in the dark with the bank robber one. That one's still cool. They got the Earth One Batman missing him. Mubaku, yep. That's that's one everybody's been sleeping on. That's a that's a dope looking pop. Got some Riverdale. So people have been asking me for anime. So here I'll show you some anime. So here's some Dragon Ball stuff. They got Full Metal Alchemist. They got One Piece. I don't know if Digimon counts, but there you go. Of course, my favorite, Chrome. Got so much stuff. There's always never enough time for to look in this place. Rick and Morty's. That's cool. They got the Mystery Science 3 to 3000. I used to watch that show when I was younger. That was a funny show. Bet your Sarge is dreaming about this now, right after I knocked him unconscious, watching Game of Thrones, sleeping, having Game of Thrones dreams about the dragons and Darnarius and whatever whack-ass characters there are in that show. I've got the green one. I like the green one better. I don't know about the white one. I don't know how I ever felt about that. You got more of the Fortnite stuff and some of the game stuff over here. Summoner War. They got the Halo ones. Mortal Kombat just came out, that game. Yeah, it looks pretty dope. Oh, we'll see. And then this is where their new release stuff is. So we got Mickey's. Got Venomized. We got Romeo and Juliet. They got all the new Fortnite ones that came out. But then they have this, which eluded me at Hot Topic. And I want this. So I'm going to get this. So we're going to get this. So hopefully it's not ridiculously as priced here as it was at Hot Topic. And then, of course, all the Disney ones. <clears throat> animation and we got Star Wars so all right so I pretty much went through all the pops that they have here I'm definitely gonna get Thor versus Thanos right now and uh, we'll go from there and then go to T's man I am just having all kinds of success today the chases the Jim Lee the Psylocke hitting Sarge with the belt and now this. And now this. Thor versus Thanos. Hot Topic screwed me out of this uh, about a week ago. They wanted $40 for it, which was ridiculous. They had it for $25, which is the fair price. So now I can add this to my Movie Moments collection. Uh, the pop.
pop gods. The pop gods are blessing me. So we are going to go, I'm going to go now, head over to uh, Tees Toys and Games and see what I can find. Who knows? There just might be a grail. I sure hope so, because that's usually where I get all my, I find all my grail pieces, with the exception of the few that I found at Uncle Figs, which is great. So those are my two go-to places for grails, but I've had really good luck at Tees. So I'm going to go over there now and see what I got. All right, so we're here right now. There's a massive Pokemon tournament going on, but here's this stuff right here. <laughs> kind of hard because he kind of pushes the shelving back for the tournament, so it's a little, little, little tight to cre creep in this space. But, ah, oh, there's the John Wick. Okay, so for anybody that doesn't know that watches MCE, me and George just did a trailer reaction for the third one. That's coming out. I can't wait to see that. That movie's, that movie's gonna be awesome. Mr. Robot, Dr. Seuss stuff. Got some football players. Got some cartoon stuff. We got WWE. So. Definitely want that 2K19 Ric Flair. That thing is awesome. And then we got some of the Disney stuff, as always. The Metallic Army Man, which is kind of cool. I know, right? <laughs> This stuff is really cool. You got that Golden Age Batman. Kind of want that. I don't know if I want that. I also do need the Glow in the Dark White Lantern Batman. I have the Superman and I got the Flash and I got the Flash earlier this uh, earlier this week, but I'll show that later. We got all the Superman stuff over here with Justice League. Then we got all the Marvel stuff. Okay, sneaking through. It's kind of cool. And then, of course, it's kind of tight to get through here. So I'm going to get on the other side and show you guys what they got. Got some more stuff. We got the special to see with Mr. Garrison. And they got their walls of grails behind the counter. All the stuff that I showed you guys before. I still just got a loop on a speeder chase. Cool. And he's got the Tony Montana convertible, which is pretty dope. And then he's got pops over here and stuff like that, but it's kind of hard to do right now because there's Pokemon tournament going on. Hey, what's up, guys? So, uh, yeah, but he does have a grail for me in the back, and I'm going to go get that now. So this is what he had in the back for me. Yep, 2011 48 p 480 piece limited edition metallic Hal Jordan Green Lantern. This thing, thanks. This thing is freaking epic. And yeah, but uh, I'll talk about it more when I get into my car. Sweet mother of God, you've got to be kidding me! Pop gods. 2000. And 11, San Diego Comic-Con 480-piece limited edition, Hal Jordan, metallic Green Lantern. Holy crap. Are you kidding me right now with this? Every week, my luck today has just been retarded. There's grails everywhere. Chases and grails and pops and chases and grails and pops. Oh, my God. I can't go out tomorrow. I can't go out tomorrow. I've already spent enough money. I can't go out. So, this is freaking amazing. Um, as always, thanks to Todd at Tease Toys and Games. That dude just, you know, he does, he does such great stuff for the community. He's really fair with his pricing. And... You know, it's it's just it's um it's unbelievable. Every time I come here, he's got a new grail for me. So, this is going to end my hunting for today. 
I am exhausted. I worked up a pretty strong appetite after beating Sarge over the head with that belt. So I am going to go home and have a moral victory dinner. And uh, we'll see what tomorrow brings. What's popping, everybody? It is Sunday. I am on the hunt again. I don't know how I can top yesterday. Yesterday was freaking crazy. Three chases in Barnes and Nobles. Finding all the other stuff that I've been looking for. The Jim Lee Flash. I found the Thor versus Thanos movie moment. And then on top of that, to cap the night and the day off, a San Diego Comic-Con metallic, how Jordan at Tease Toys and Games, that was crazy. That was crazy. I always say, if you ever come across any of those pieces, you would be stupid not to buy it. You hardly ever see them ever in a retail environment. So if you see it, you gotta get it. If you pass on it, you will regret it later on down the road. I promise you that. I've done it numerous times and I don't do it anymore. I see it, I get it. That's what I do. So I am on my way to Tate's right now. I'm gonna make it a quick hunt today because um, I want to go watch football and I want to go spend time with my family. So I'm going over to Tate's. Um, I believe Chad, I'm going to be meeting Chad over there. Um, 90 miles from comics and comic chat with Chad. So, uh, yeah. And we're going to, we're going to go from there and we're going to see what kind of, uh, what kind of trouble we can get into over at, uh, over at Tate's. I haven't been there in a while, you know, cause they usually don't really get a whole lot of new stuff in but I'm kind of keeping my fingers crossed that they did so uh yeah we'll see what we can come across so I will see you guys when I get to Tate's all right so I am here at Tate's now with Yo, my man Chad look at Chad we got the Chad so we're here now we're gonna go into Tate's and uh see what we can find yeah. you're looking for comics you, you I know you're always looking yeah. for comics back issues first appearances keys so we'll see if we can find anything that's popping all right so let's go inside let's do it Ah, uh, always a good way to start out with Chrome. Always a good way to start out with Chrome. Got the Star vs. Evil. We got Fortnite. We got the Voltron. People are telling me I've got to check this out, and I, I, think I, I think I'm going to. I don't know. I've always been kind of curious about anime, never really got into it, but we're going we're gonna to try. We're going to give it a go, folks. Nah, yeah, it's all the same stuff. I do want this chase though that glows in the dark. And I saw um, Toy Hunter got him at Books a Million earlier in the week, so I was kind of kind of jealous about that. So, all right, let's go see what's in the other area. All right, so here we are at the Wall O Pops, as I like to call it, another area that they have dedicated to pops. So. We've got Thor versus Thanos, which they picked up yesterday. I already have the Red Skull versus Cap. Got the Married with Children. Mad Max. Everybody said this was a good movie. I gotta check that out. My kids might like that. I don't know if I should let the betrayer if dads watch it. Oh, that's cool. They got the uh, Tony Hawk. Kurt Angle. Not a whole lot here though, otherwise. So I'm gonna go check the DC area and the, the Marvel area. Well, actually, you know what? We've got the Magic Carpet Ride, which we don't care about. I got this yesterday. I don't need the uh, 11 with the Demi Gorgon. And they got the Hard Warg Express with uh, Ron sticking his head out the top. But all right, let me go check the Marvel area. 
so we're in the Marvel area right now. So more Cap and Red Skull, more Gold Chrome. Yeah, it's always a lot of the, a lot of the same old stuff. Yeah, this is one of the few places that rarely ever gets any kind of chases or anything out of the ordinary. So it's like that's kind of why I hard I really don't come here as that much. But you know, every once in a while you find something decent. So all right, let me go check the DC area. So I'm in the DC area now, <clears throat> and it is looking pretty thin. Looks like a lot of Suicide Squad, Wonder Woman, Batman vs Superman, bombshells. The only cool thing that I think they got is that specialty series Superman, which is pretty dope. And they got these bombshell cars, which is pretty cool. Harley Quinn's car looks pretty sick. I like the way that looks. That's pretty cool. And then, uh, yeah. So let me go look around and uh, see if I can find an area that has any more pops. For anybody that knows me, I do collect these gallery um, diamond select uh, pieces so they got Aquaman they got the Shazam one man the Shazam one looks pretty freaking badass it's cool uh, it's cool they got the uh, Catwoman one which is pretty pr pretty cool looking too um, yeah I think that's all I oh and they got a Harley Harley Quinn one which is pretty neat and they got a a Huntress and of course the Aquaman I already showed you guys so all right let me continue on looking Star Wars stuff over here but I'm not really into this I'm, I mean I love Star Wars don't get me wrong but there's so many Star Wars pops that it's hard to just yeah, get I mean. the you know just get them that's what I mainly collect <laughs> those are the only pops I pretty much collect oh come on man you gotta collect other stuff than that. Hey, that and some comic book ones, but it's Star Wars and comic books. That's pretty much it. Got a ton of the Gamorrean guard down there. Jeez. Doesn't someone need that statue? But, uh, there, a uh, Mr. George Medina does need that statue, and I believe the Marvelous Knight did get it. Oh. So, we will be on the lookout for that statue review coming coming soon. I'm so. Sorry. All right, let me go check out some of the other areas. All right, so we're done at Tate's. We are now going down the street to past, present, and future. Um, I believe they're supposed to, they're having a sale because um, they're closing that location, but they're moving the inventory from that store to another store that they have down in Davie. But there's some stuff that they don't want to bring with them that they put on sale. So I'm sure there'll be a bunch of comics on sale. Who knows if they might have a bunch of figures on sale. Uh, they might even have pops, who knows? So me and Chad are heading down there real fast. We're gonna check it out and I will hit you guys up when I get there. So we're here at Past, Present and Future. The sign's down. Don't know if it's open though. I don't know, Chad, what do you think, man? All right, well, let's go inside and see if it's open. Yeah, it is. So this guy made out on the deal. A little bit. Nothing got too Batman, crazy. Superman, got some comic book stuff. Yeah, just boxes, some My Light. So. Just on basic. He made out better than me. I didn't see anything I wanted, so. How do you even show off anything in here? <laughs> You're going to have to see your video from Yeah. <laughs> cool, man. Well, good meeting up with your brother, and uh, Thanks, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow night on the Geek Show. Yeah, we'll see you on the Geek <laughs> Show, my friend. So. Past, present, and future was kind of a bust. They didn't really have much. I mean, they do have a deal going on where everything, like I said, is 30% off in the store because they're moving they're moving that store or the inventory at least to another uh, another local one that they have down in Davie. But uh, yeah, so it's about that time now where um, I'm gonna go home for the rest of the day, spend some time with my family, and go watch football. But tomorrow should be fun because my office is closed tomorrow for the holiday. So I'll probably do some hunting. I'll probably do more hunting tomorrow than I did today. But uh, yeah, it was fun meeting up with Chad. So I'll leave the link below for uh, Chad's channel. You can go check him out. And uh, yeah, so um, it's football time. So I will see everybody tomorrow. What's popping everybody? It's Monday. It's a holiday. 
kids are at camp, thing is at work. I have the day off because my office is closed. So what do I do with a free day? You guessed, I go hunt. So I'm going to the Barnes and Nobles right now down the street from my house. Since I had such great luck at the one on Saturday. And let's see if lightning can't strike twice. So I will hit you guys up when I get there. All right, so we're here now at Barnes and Nobles, walking in, and let's see what we can find. All right, so I'm here at Barnes and Nobles right now, and let's look to see what we can find. So we've got a Grinch, we've got a Hermione, Newt, Bruce Banner, Zero. Gonna have to look through everything because of what happened the other day. I'm just dropping stuff everywhere, but it's all right. I'll just continue to drop stuff in hopes that I'll find something. Stuff just pouring out for me. Alright, so clearly nothing on this side. Uh, let's see what's over here. Got more pushing. Yeah, it doesn't seem like uh, a whole lot so far. It's kind of disappointing. <clears throat> maybe my uh, maybe my luck's running out. Well, they do definitely get a lot of these pushins. So I think my luck might have run out, folks. This is not what I had in mind. Um, oh, wait, there's one more side I didn't catch. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think there's anything behind those. Again, I'm just dropping stuff everywhere today. Yeah, I don't think there's much here. So, all right. Oh, gonna get back in the car and. Uh, Go on to the next place. All right, so there was nothing in Barnes and Nobles. Um, getting kind of worried. 
uh, my luck might be running out. Uh, didn't find anything yesterday. Didn't find anything today. So, Pop Gods, where are you? I need you. So, um, yeah, not, uh, not good. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead to Target because there are a few personal things I need to get. So, I'm going to go there and see what they got. And then, uh, believe it or not, I might just call it a day from there because I do have some other things to do at home. And then I got to get ready tonight for that geek show. So, I will see you guys when I get to Target. All right, we're here at Target. We're walking in right now. Let's see if they recovered from the holidays yet. All right, so we're walking up to the Funko section now. And let's see if we can find anything, I guess. It looks a little bit better. I see uh, some 10-inch uh, nifflers there at the bottom. Well, well, look what we have here. <laughs> I'm not going to go into any more than just keeping it on camera for a few more seconds. say nothing here get a get a gearhead right there but all right well um yeah i guess uh back to the car and uh, we'll see where i go from there all right so clearly there was nothing at target and i'm sure they're still recovering from the holidays and everything else in between so i'm gonna wrap it up for today um you know which kind of stinks but uh just got a text message from the thing and um i got some honey do things i gotta do around the house so uh, i gotta go take care of those things and then i gotta get ready tonight for the uh, geek show so i also have some interesting and awesome information so i will be in the orlando area this saturday for the orlando toy and comic con and then sunday i will be in the tampa area as well doing some hunting so for any of my subscribers that are in the Orlando and Tampa area, please hit me up, message me. Um, you know, I have all my contact information below where you can go to the Facebook page and message me on there, or you can message me on Instagram, or you can just leave a comment below on this video and let me know. So if you guys want to come out and meet up with me, that would be freaking fantastic because um, I definitely love meeting up with subscribers and I definitely love meeting with other collectors as well too because you know we all have different things that we collect and again I, I always like just meeting up with different collectors I like picking their brains seeing how they go about hunting and, and you know and the things they do so the, and the way they go about finding pops too because you know I find that interesting so again I'll be in Orlando on Saturday and I'll be in Tampa on Sunday so again if any of you guys want to come out I'd be thrilled to meet up with any of you guys so and then that's going to wrap up this video so if you guys like what you saw, please be sure to give a thumbs up. If you're new, please be sure to hit subscribe. Be sure to hit that bell so you get notified every time another episode of What's Popping gets uploaded for your viewing pleasure. As always, you can check out all the excellent content we offer at mcecentral.com. There we have That Geek Show, Marvelous Statues, Statue Fanatic. We've also got Comic Chat with Chad and the Pop-Off and me. So until next time, guys, that's what's popping! And I will see you all this weekend in the Orlando and Tampa area. Woo!